Jeffrey Epstein's last girlfriend was spotted strolling around Manhattan over the weekend, the first time she's been seen since the DOJ released a report ruled the financier's end. The last person to speak to the criminal, Karina Shulak, was seen multiple times on Friday, arriving and leaving an office in Midtown before taking a walk the next day in Central Park. Shulak was then seen returning to a home on the Upper East Side in an upscale building where Epstein once owned several apartments. Epstein is said to have paid for Shulak's mother's expensive medical treatment and may have helped fund the upscale home where her parents live in Minsk, the largely rundown capital of Belarus. The Upper East Side is a familiar place frequented by Karina's friends, which includes some famous women, actors, models, business people, even Meghan Markle. Meghan once mentioned this place as a small gathering spot for tough and independent girls in a blog called The Tig. Now Karina has proven this by appearing at the same spot because Meghan was quite close to Karina Shulak, one of Epstein's last girlfriends. You can still find pictures of them together on a yacht trip. In the photo, Meghan and Karina Shulak were friends and vacationed together. Looks like Uncle Andrew isn't the only one with Epstein connections. Jeffrey Epstein's last girlfriend is on the left and Meghan Markle on the right, right next to her on a yacht together in a lineup with other girls. They use the hot code to identify what they bring to the table. According to a 2001 Guardian article, the Soho House yacht at Cannes was where the top producers and directors hung out. It was a central part of the Soho House membership, starting from the very first Soho House in London in 1995. The annual Soho House yacht for members during the Cannes Film Festival started from at least 1997. Soho House membership included a yacht, as mentioned on the Soho House website from 2003. Now notorious abuser and producer Harvey Weinstein has been a long-running and involved Soho House member since at least 2003 and is known to attend yacht parties. The yacht was packed with wannabes all trying to outdo each other. There was a group of girls who suddenly stripped and jumped into the jacuzzi, their fake boobs floating around their chins. Needless to say, a crowd of lay bloggers gathered, and some took pictures while the girls giggled and snuggled each other. The girls all disappeared with some bald ugly men who claimed they could make them famous. Yachting rumors have dogged Meghan Markle for some time. It's well known that she posted many photographs of seaside locations on a now-defunct blog, The Take, as well as known yachting locations. Being as actively involved in the Soho House scene and traveling as much as she did, it's highly likely that she attended Soho House yacht parties. The news comes as it looks like she does want to go back to the social media fold after all. There's heavy speculation that Meghan Markle is planning a major social media comeback just because she wants to boost her popularity. Markle knows that the only way she can keep her name in the headlines is if she makes some drastic changes in her life. Back when she and Prince Harry were still working members of the royal family, they had a huge social media presence. Markle knows that she needs to get back on the Instagram horse if she wants to survive in the tough celebrity world. Now whether or not Meghan's going to relaunch her Instagram account sooner rather than later, no one really knows.